Welcome and thank you for joining us for today's encouragement from Our Daily Bread on the 6th of June, 2024. The Bible reading today is Philippians chapter 4, verses 10 to 20. I rejoiced greatly in the Lord that at last you renewed your concern for me. Indeed, you were concerned, but you had no opportunity to show it. I am not saying this because I am in need, for I have learned to be content whatever the circumstances. I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well fed or hungry, living in plenty or in want. I can do all this through Him who gives me strength. Yet it was good of you to share in my troubles. Moreover, as you Philippians know, in the early days of your acquaintance with the gospel, when I set out from Macedonia, not one church shared with me in the matter of giving and receiving, except you only. For even when I was in Thessalonica, you sent me aid more than once when I was in need. Not that I desire your gifts. What I desire is is that more be credited to your account. I have received full payment and have more than enough. I am amply supplied now that I have received from Epaphroditus the gifts you sent. They are a fragrant offering, an acceptable sacrifice, pleasing to God. And my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. To our God and Father be glory for ever and ever. Amen. Today's article titled Finding Contentment was written by Amy Boucher Pye. I used to think the word contentment would never apply to someone like me, observes Liz. Suffering with a rare lung disease, she endures not only fatigue and breathlessness, but is afflicted with repeated chest infections. As one often isolated within four walls, her body coping with the strain on her lungs, she used to ask herself, How could I be contented? She found an answer in the writings of the Apostle Paul, noting how he wrote his letter to the Philippians while locked away in prison under threat of execution in surroundings far more dire than her own. He could say, I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well fed or hungry whether living in plenty or in want. But how could he find contentment while under the threat of death? I can do all this through him who gives me strength, he responded. Increasingly, as Liz placed her hope in God, trusting him not only when she could catch her breath, but also in the crushing pain, she found that her confidence in him increased. Like Paul, she learned to be content whatever the circumstances. We might enjoy glowing good health or enjoy challenges like Liz's, whatever our situation. Whether we are in need or have plenty, we too can find contentment in God as we lean on Christ who strengthens us. Let's pray. Loving God, you strengthen me through the power of the Holy Spirit dwelling within me. Help me to lean on you today. Amen. Thanks for listening today. My name's Peter. 
and today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.